Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're going to make another sort of uh, weird cable. Um, this is a isolated hotline cable that I've made uh, in a previous video. Uh, you can check that link right there. Um, basically what this cable does is it's, uh, it isolates the hotline in a traditional hot neutral ground um, cable and it allows you to measure the amperage draw of a system. So I need to measure our server rack. Um, our IT company had asked for some additional runtime on our UPS, and I honestly don't know how long uh, my server rack draws. So we are going to build an L530 isolated hotline uh, little dog bone cable. Um, so I've got two L530 connectors. So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, NEMA twist locks, this is uh, this is called an L530 connector. This is 30 amps, 120 volts. Um, and basically it uh, locks together and it is a twist lock. So you can lock these two together, twist it, and then you have power so you can't pull this apart. So uh, the UPS that's in our rack um, is an L530. Uh, again, 20, 120 volts, 30 amps. Um, so I need to have something that I can unplug it from the wall and plug this little adapter cable in and use a clamp amp meter to uh, measure what our amperage draw is. So let's make this cable. So um, we're just gonna take this guy apart. So um, despite this being a very large plug, uh, it, it goes together just like a regular Edison. So, you know, you have your, uh, your brass terminal for hot, uh, your silver terminal for neutral, and your green terminal for ground. So what we're going to do with this is I have a piece of SJO cable, uh, which is code for uh, its S is submersible. And uh, the, other, the other portions of that um, acronym are... I know that one of the O's is oil resistance, um, but I can't remember what the other what the other parts of it are. So uh, this is 10 gauge cable. So I'm just going to take this and strip this back like this. So for the sake of time uh, for this video, um, I just stripped back the uh, I cut the hotline out. So this is just neutral and ground uh, in this cable. And then because, you know, we have, uh, we build a lot of cables here um, and a lot of boxes and things like that. I have raw, I have raw in-wall cable that we use. So I just grabbed some of this off of the reel. So this is also 10 gauge cable. So I'm just going to strip this guy down. Okay, so to build one of these cables, we're just going to take our hotline and put that into the hot terminal on our plug. Tighten this guy down, and then we can take our ground. We'll take our ground on this guy like this. You know, it's very interesting. Um, a lot of, uh, when you get a clamp amp meter and you're saying, hey, how do I measure amperage? Uh, it's not really uh, apparent how you do it which I think is really interesting. Um, when I first got my clamp amp meter, I just put it around a cord and thought, hmm, why is this not working? Um, well, you have to isolate your line. Now the clamp amp meter will measure amperage either uh, via the hot or the neutral. So in audio terminology, either the send or the return, if you think about it like that. Okay. So, we've got this guy. Uh, I'm going to take a piece of heat shrink because it wouldn't be a Billy video if we didn't have heat shrink. Which, my scissors are, of course, in my work box. So, let's just cut this guy down like this. We're going to put our heat shrink over here. Just like that. And I'm just going to run our heat shrink right up here like that. Let's see, is that a little too big? Might be a little too big. 
cut that down just a skosh. Highly industrialized technical term there, a skosh. Put this on here like this. I'm just gonna put that on there, just like that. Heat gun. Okay, so we're gonna grab our, the back portion of our connector, just like this, just loosen these guys up, push that out. So these um, larger Hubble connectors do have a little rubber boot in here. So I like to take the, cause I probably shouldn't have stripped this. I'm sure you're all thinking that, why did you strip that? And I thought, well, I'm gonna save it to save time on camera because to be honest i'm lazy and the least amount of video editing i have to do in post the better sorry doing this off camera i'm sure you'd like to see this right all right so this guy so to mount this you're just going to find the little tab this little inset like that um, and then find your opposing little tab, which is right there. And we will push that guy in there just like that. Seat him. And then all you have to do is make your screws go down. Make your screws go down like this. Suck those two parts together. Okay. Uh, so we'll clamp this this portion down also when, uh, but I just want to get the cable built. So um, I did make myself a little heat shrink label that just says, ooh, it's a big reveal, hot. Um, just like that, so that we can know what this, if, if an objective third party is. Um, I have a friend that that uh, does does work with me occasionally, and he always calls these type of cables uh, fire starters. He's like, oh, cool, we got a little fire starter cable there. <laughs> so it's just like weird adapter stuff, like things that things that you could never sell, <laughs> but you know you need to to make certain build projects go. Uh, that as an electrician, you probably you know shouldn't use but for our for our sake um so i'm just gonna take this guy if as i was uh blabbing uh, i'm just gonna take this guy we're gonna cut him off just like that okay so we've got our heat shrink just like that and so the idea here is we want to make this so that there's a little kink in it so that we can get our clamp meter around it i'm gonna cut another piece of heat shrink just like that we don't really need the heat shrink, but you know, style points. So we'll just bury that guy on there like that. And then we will take the female portion. I'll take the female portion of this connector. Oops, as I smash the camera. Now this side, um, I'm gonna be smart here because I wasn't earlier, which I'm gonna have to do. Oh, these don't have, uh, just take these guys off. Um, I was looking to see some of the, some connectors have, you can take this part out if it's a thicker cable, uh, but in this particular instance, we can't do that. So anyway, we're gonna take this guy. And again, I made the same mistake. Should I have stripped the hotline? No. I'm actually, I built this cable wrong. All right, learn from my mistakes. As you can tell, I try to not edit these videos so that you can, you don't have these beautiful like edited videos. Like, hey, this is how this worked perfectly the first time. You can be like, oh no, here are all the mistakes that Billy made. I'm not gonna do that. All right, so much like uh, a lot of things in life, you, you have to build this in the reverse order that you wanna use it, so. Again, what I messed up there is I put the heat shrink on first. 
And those of you more astute viewers are saying, are probably cringing and saying, oh, don't do that. And then see, I fixed it, it's cool. It's cool. All right, so we've got this guy down. Now we're gonna just make sure all of our screws are open. Actually, they are. So again, black is brass, although in this case, red. Um, so when you're building cables like this, I think it's worth noting that you should, even though, uh, as I made the joke earlier about making it a fire starter cable, um, I, th I still think it's, you, you really, really have to be diligent about, uh, leaving as what I like to call a trail of breadcrumbs so that if somebody else, uh, uses this cable when you're not around, you know, cause like for me, these are just laying in a drawer in my work box. So, you know, if somebody else happens to get this cable, you have to leave enough uh, breadcrumbs for somebody to really understand what you're up to. Um, so this, uh, this cable, we are following the standard color code. Um, for those of you all who aren't familiar, red and blue are common colors in electrical applications to denotate hot. So for example, if you have a three-phase cable, um, oftentimes your, your inner jacketing cables will be red, uh, blue, and then black. But uh, I'm doing my best here to, so that, which is why I used a red cable, because I'm actually out of black. So, you know, our little secret. All right, we'll just shrink this down. Sorry, I should do that on camera. Here's your daily heat shrink moment. If you haven't had a heat shrink moment today. Okay. Now we'll just pull our, our guy up again. Highly industrialized technical term. Okay, so when we're building this side, we're looking for this little knockout right here. You're looking for that little knockout right there. And we are just going to him in there like a that and we're gonna tighten these down so when I do these I like to get them started before I tighten all of before I tighten one down all the way just to make sure that all the holes line up okay All right, and then we just have to put our back boots on. Again, following the same principle, get them started before you tighten them up. All right, so those are connected. We're just gonna move our little piece of hot heat shrink right there. Okay, so that is our cable. Um, if anybody has any questions, please just leave a comment below. And if not, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for stopping by.